these are some of the scenes in the grounds of Birmingham Cathedral on Friday the 29th of November as more than 700 brave souls slept rough for just one night to raise awareness of youth homelessness and to raise funds for St Basil's. One of those intrepid people was our Minister Lorraine. And we caught up with her inside a rather noisy cathedral just before she retired to her cardboard box for the night. Hi Lorraine, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I believe you're from which church was it? Whole Green United Community Church. Isn't that the one that a certain Mr Blair Kessler goes to occasionally? He has been known to, to loiter around the, the, the church occasionally. You're in a very rare position actually because you're one of the few people who can talk while he has to stay quiet. It's very <laughs> unusual. Do you have much heckling from the, uh, the stalls? No, 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 it's very good. Yes, he does what he's told. <laughs> can, can I ask you why you're at the sleep bed? Um, it's a charity that is, is obviously a local charity. Yeah. Um, and I've worked with homeless people uh, when I lived up in Yorkshire and it was something I wanted to continue to support when I moved to Birmingham two years ago. Um, doing something different, I like to step out of my comfort zone and do, do something that's, that's different for, to help other people. So it was the, the, the obvious choice to make. And yeah, the one I was supported in, in Bradford, um, it was getting people off the streets yeah. um, and just giving them a bed overnight. And in, it was called In Churches. Oh, In Churches? Um, and it was, so it, they, they moved around churches each week. Um, and they gave them a hot tea, uh, a, a clean bed, and then a hot breakfast every night. And it, it, for th three months, it started. Now you see, that's what I always winter. feel that churches should be doing. Um, what's your feeling? The role of the church in homelessness, trying to help with homelessness. Should it be active like you're being? I uh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yes, because I think it's something that, but for the grace of God, you know, we yeah. are. We are you know, it's safe, we've got warm homes, but it could, it could just go, yeah. you know, something tragic could happen and, you know, we could all be there, so um, I think we need to support, the church needs to support those that, you know, that need that help. Yeah. Yeah, and oh. if, it, if it can help financially, um, if they can help physically in some way, yeah, I think any help that it can offer yeah. um, is, is very necessary. Um, but uh, I know that the churches that I, I work with and I've been involved with, you know, people are so keen to get involved. Yeah. You know, they want to do something to help. Yeah. Sometimes it's their own personal limitations that stop them, physically, yeah. health-wise. Um, but, yeah, people want to, to make a difference. Yeah. Um, it's targeting those that can. I yeah. mean, I, I was a busy businessman up until a year ago when I sold my business and retired, and now I get involved. Yeah. And everybody's so busy, aren't they? It's so easy yeah. to pass on the other side of the road, isn't it? Yes, and that's right. We can't. No, we no, just can't because it's no. not acceptable, no, is it? No, that's right. So. I like to practice what I preach, so And you do preach? Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely to meet you, Ryan. Right. Thank, thank you very much, Elise. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thank you.